गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑन इंग्लिश कॉम्पोजिशन एंड बिजनेस करस्पॉन्डेंस इन दिस सेशन वी हैव पिक्ड फोर टॉपिक्स फॉर डिस्कशन दिस टॉपिक्स आर पुल्ड आउट फ्रॉम चैप्टर्स वन टू फिफ्टीन द टॉपिक्स आर टेक्निक ऑफ राइटिंग बिजनेस लेटर्स दैट्स द ओपनिंग टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन देन वी मूव ऑन टू सींग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ बिजनेस लेटर वी देन गो ऑन टू सी थिंग्स अराउंड द सेल्स लेटर and finally we end with job application let us first look at technique of writing business letter from chapter 1 as a part of this topic we need to first understand what is a business letter so first let's look at what is a business letter business letter is a letter where the message of the letter is written with an intent of influencing the reader either to compel or push him to take an action or to influence his thinking and alter his attitude so if the intent of the letter or the message of the letter is written in such a way that it induces an action or is expected to induce an action desired action or a desired change in the attitude of the receiver of the letter then such a letter can be called as a business letter we will move on to our second segment which is structure of a business letter so we have seen how a business letter should be written now let's look at what are the elements and in what fashion it should be presented right there are i would say 10 different components or elements of writing while you write a business letter this is not to say that all the 10 would appear all the time but these are the exhaustive 10 and most of them appear uh, in most business letters excepting a few the first one is the heading the next component important component is the date on which this letter is being written next is the inside address inside address is talking about who are you writing this mail for next you have introductory salutation so the salutation includes how do you address the individual next body of the letter body of the letter is talking about your message the next segment is about sales letters the sales letters are a very important part of written form of uh, communication uh, so to say for a marketing team but let's now move on to the last segment which is job application more often than not is you would have to draft application in the form of a letter uh, maybe you have a resume but definitely you will have a covering letter for that uh, maybe there is uh, no resume requirement you just have to write out a neat letter to apply for a certain position so job applications are very important forms of business letters 